Uh, well, I got final deets on Samsung's upcoming S22 lineup, uh, but uh, like, does anyone care? This is the only tech news show on the internet that gives you tech news and exclusive leaks. So hit subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. <laughs> of course, the show that gives you all this tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Uh, so uh, you might you might have seen the news. I went and picked up myself a six pack case of the vid. You can probably tell I sound not great. I sound a lot better than I did. It feels like it feels like I just got back from like a completely different dimension. I was there over the weekend. And now I'm back, and I'm not gonna lie, it got a little spoopy for a couple of days there, that's for sure. But I am feeling much better right now. I haven't had like, I haven't had a fever in probably 48 hours, so I think I'm, I think I'm in the clear, and daddy's gotta work. So we got some exclusives to talk about today. Let's do that. Alrighty, tidy. So first up for the day, story numero uno, let's first talk about Apple. I know, usually we, usually we clickbait with Apple, that's the main part of the show, but we're putting it first today keeping you on your toes. So we already know there's a bunch of Apple stuff coming this year. M much products, many money, wow. Well, the thing that I was most excited about, delayed. It is delayed. The brand new iMac Pro is apparently not coming in the next couple months like we thought it would. This is of course according to Ross Young who was 100% accurate on AppleTrack.com. He now reports that the iMac Pro won't be coming until summer of this year. God damn it. Emotional damn it. If for some reason you haven't heard yet, the new iMac Pro is supposed to be 27 inches of mini LED 120 hertz goodness. And according to Mark Gurman, it's supposed to look a lot like the current iMac. So like no bezel-less design or anything. In fact, Mark Gurman himself just recently floated around the idea that we'd be getting this thing at the upcoming spring event, but I guess <laughs> nope, nope to that. If Ross Young says no, Ross Young says no, and I hate everything. Man, I wanted this thing so bad. I am more excited about this iMac Pro than any other Apple product this year, but Tim Cook is cucking me. Y you know what'll never cuck me though? Today's sponsor. Listen, if you're anything like me, your kitchen is filled with like 10% stuff you are gonna eat, and the rest is just sh This happens because when you want to cook something, you always end up with more ingredients than you'll actually use. In the mood for just one hot dog? Good luck finding one hot dog bun at the grocery store. Those things come in packs of like 11 tea. Hello HelloFresh gives you farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip those trips to the grocery store. That's where all the sticky people are anyway. HelloFresh makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And this is one of those sponsors that personally I use use, I pay for, and I get a box every single week. Go to hellofresh.com slash FPT16 and use code FPT16 to get up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. And of course, huge thanks to HelloFresh for supporting this episode of Fapata. Oh, hey, welcome back. Okay, so last up for the day, story numero lasto. How about some exclusives? Little bit of bad news. <laughs> I was told yesterday that the Galaxy S22 lineup hit uh, a bit of a snag due to a supply chain issue. That's according to my source. As we first reported months ago, like last year sometime, the event, the unpacked event for these phones is happening on February 9th. That much has been confirmed by Samsung themselves. Pre-orders for all of those devices will happen on that same day, but now the actual shipments and availability have been staggered a bit. First, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, the one that we leaked a few months ago and Samsung tried to sue my asshole into oblivion. Uh, that one, that one comes first with availability on February 25th. The rest of the series though, the S22 and S22 Plus, have now been pushed to March, March 11th to be exact. So that's a that's a yikes for me, dog. Interestingly, a lot of the replies to my tweet seem to claim that this is some sort of conspiracy from Samsung to sell the Ultra, the premium model first. Push that one first because it's the most expensive model. And while that sounds nice, Mr. Jones, from what my sources have seen behind the scenes, 
Uh, Samsung did in fact give carriers marketing materials for all of these phones to go out at the same time as scheduled. Uh, but recently, and by recently, I mean like yesterday, pulled back the marketing materials for both the S22 and the S22 Plus, leaving the materials for the S22 Ultra, meaning yes, something somewhere went wrong. It's not a conspiracy or anything. There was a real issue. And bro, why do they care which phone you buy first? You're still giving them money. You're still buying. The, it's it's all from them. See this? This is Samsung piggy bank. All your money's going in there anyway. Who cares? Speaking of S22 stuff, though, uh, how about prices? Contrary to the reports that I've been seeing online about prices going up, uh, yeah, no. That is not what I'm hearing. Here's the final pricing for the entire S22 lineup, according to my sources. And uh, without going into too much detail, I'm very confident in this information. The S22, the base model, will start at $799. The S22 Plus will start at $999. And the S22 Ultra will start at a hot $1,199. And if you're playing along at home, you might notice Yep, those are the same prices as last year. And also, if you're playing along at home, you suck. Please subscribe.